Hello! In this video I'm going to be making a very simple mod to my BBC Micro. Uh, it's made much simpler uh, because the hard work has already been done for me uh, by Tricky aka Richard Broadhurst who has very kindly sent me uh, one of these which is basically an audio output uh, for the Beeb which can optionally take the sound away from coming out of the speaker and redirect it to a 3.5mm audio jack. And that means you can plug in headphones or indeed any other external speaker that you might want to use. Um, it's perfect if, like me, you want to be able to use your Beeb without necessarily disturbing other people in the household with the noisy um, sound and everything else that the, the Beeb outputs. So it's a fantastic mod and I'm really looking forward to checking it out and seeing how it works. Okay, so um, I've already taken the cover off my BBC Micro here so you can see it uh, fully exposed. Uh, you can see the screws over there. So um, for those of you who haven't ever done this before, uh, there's a couple of screws at the back here and here that you need to remove. Uh, and there's a couple more that uh, actually fit up through the base and they actually come through into the keyboard uh, here and here. So there's four screws in total. Um, it's also advisable to, uh, if, you've, if you've got little washers here that are connecting the keyboard uh, at the sides, you should remove those. Um, they look a bit like, look a bit like this. Uh, and that just means it gives you full access to um, the internals of the Beeb. Obviously, make sure you've got the power switched off. Um, the Beeb doesn't have a, a, a kettle lead that you can remove, obviously, so it's obviously permanently plugged in. Uh, but I've disconnected um, the power at the mains, so this is completely switched off. You don't need to worry about unplugging other things like the uh, RGB cable there or the, uh, the joystick. The old joystick over there. Um, but, yeah, everything is in place. Now, if I'm very careful here... Uh, not to obviously be able to break my beeb in the process. If you just lift the keyboard gently down, like so, what you can see is that our speaker, which is uh, the, the famous beeb speaker here, it's actually connected by this black and white, uh, sorry, black and red cable, uh, which goes into this uh, this little white connector down here on the motherboard. Um, so what we need to do, if you look at the end of uh, Richard's mod, you can see, hopefully that comes into focus here, you can see that this has um, a black connector, which we need to push into the motherboard, but it also exposes, if you can see it there, these two prongs, and uh, those prongs can then be connected uh, to the speaker. And what that means is that uh, it gives you a really flexible solution, because if you do want to have audio coming out of the speaker, all you need to make sure is that you haven't got anything plugged into your audio output. So provided there's no 3.5 millimeter cable plugged into here, uh, the sound will continue to come out of the speaker because it's essentially bypassing um, through those two metal prongs directly to the speaker or indirectly to the speaker, I should say. Uh, but alternatively, if you have got something connected into your 3.5 millimeter port, then um, the speaker gets bypassed instead and the audio comes out of here. And then you're free to connect pair of headphones or some other audio device into that socket and have the audio bypassing out through that way instead which is fantastic so um, next thing I'm going to do is carefully remove uh, the speaker connector there so that's that's now safely removed so at this point I've now got no output for the sound so those two prongs down there haven't got anything connected um, so the next thing I need to do is just carefully plug this, as you can see here, hopefully it comes into focus, this black connector needs to just slip on to those two prongs, like so. Yeah, make sure that's nicely in. Okay, and then the next thing I need to do is obviously reattach the speaker, um, but this time we're going to put the speaker through these two prongs here instead of connecting it directly to the base. So we'll just push that neatly around there. Nice fit snugly on there. So we've now got the the uh, the, the mod, which is nicely connected, and uh, it's been designed um, very cleverly to essentially sit here. Um, in fact, if I put it in line with where my um, RGB is, that gives me more flexibility later on. Um, hopefully, I can get some sort of SCART connector that includes an audio uh, jack as well, and then the two connected would then potentially um, output the audio through into the telly. But for the time being, uh, we're just going to lay that there. And uh, we, what the nice thing about the way this is designed is because there's already actually slots here and here, 
uh, when you put the cover of the uh, or cover of the case of the bead back on you can still have this sticking out without having to drill any holes into your bead case which i think is a, is a nice solution but i'm not going to reconnect everything i'm just going to um, move my keyboard just gently back into position so that i can use it uh, without without it falling off so there we go that's back in position i'm just going to turn the power on at the mains down under here there we go so we've now got power running to my beeb uh, i'm going to turn my monitor on well tv there we go and that will hopefully come on yeah no i don't need any of that so we've got the uh, classic scrambled up so if i turn this on at the back you can obviously hear um, from that sound there the boop boop that the sound is still uh, clearly coming through our speaker okay so we're back in business here we've got the uh, familiar beep prompt and what i'm going to do is i'm going to load up again just to test out our new sound system so just hold down the old shift brake there we go frack that'll do us for a good test got some good background music in frack so we can really uh, see the difference so head off into the game and we can hear that the sound is indeed coming out from the speaker at the moment because I don't have anything plugged into my jack. But if I now get hold of my uh, headphone cable here and just uh, pop that into like so, you can see this is now connected and although you can still probably hear it because it's, it's now coming out of my headphones. Hooray! Which means that I can obviously listen to the music of Frack uh, without disturbing anybody else. Fantastic stuff. Um, now obviously as I was saying, uh, you've got all sorts of options for this mod because you don't have to have it plugged into a set of headphones. You could have it plugged into really any device that supports a 3.5mm jack. So um, I could have it plugged into an external speaker, plug it into an amp maybe. Really uh, really feel the, uh, the, the, the beep music uh, coming through nice and loud. Um, but yeah, fantastic mod. Really pleased with this. I'm hoping to um, get a SCART lead next, which uh, will have an extra uh, audio connector, which I can pop into um, this mod and then have every all the sound coming directly out of my TV, um, which would give me a lot more control over um, the volume as well. Um, there is a, pot uh, a, a potentiometer or pot uh, that you can use directly on the motherboard to modify the... Um, volume of the, the speaker itself but obviously if we're not using the speaker um, then uh, we're really just sort of set with a, a, a flat volume control so getting it coming through the tv would be perfect but anyway um, i'm going to leave it there uh, this has been really really good fun um, it's always good to uh, get the cover off the beeb and and have a sort of ferret around i actually managed um, to to break something um, i've edited that out of the video but uh, i briefly lost mode 7 i'm not quite sure what happened there I think one of the jumpers had um, got slightly dislodged while I was fiddling about with removing the keyboard. But anyway, uh, the good thing is it's all back to normal now and uh, good old Mode 7 is indeed um, still working. So uh, if I come out of frack you can see that uh, we've still got our Mode 7 um, working perfectly. So there you go, you can see it just there um, poking out the back because uh, as I say those grill lines along the back of the, uh, the beeb allow you to just balance it there. Um, Tricky suggests that you can use a bit of hot glue and, and glue it into position so that it doesn't sort of wobble about when you plug things in and out of it. Um, but the nice thing is that it's a, it's a decent mod that doesn't require any drilling. Uh, I always feel a little bit worried about <laughs> drilling through plastic, particularly when it's uh, as old as uh, the trusty beeb actually is these days. But with it in position there and my beeb all nicely sealed up, um, I'll just double check that I haven't uh, lost mode 7 again, but it uh, looks like we're all good on the screen here. So uh, there we are, fantastic stuff. So there we have it. Uh, once again, a big thank you to Tricky for sending me this mod. I'm really, really happy with it. Um, it's a fantastic result. It was very easy to fit. And uh, it's, a, yeah, it's a really, really great way of um, having an optional uh, method of getting the audio out of my Beeb, either into a pair of headphones or to into some other uh, audio device. Maybe I should hook it up to an amp. That would be fantastic. Could you imagine the... Uh, codename droid theme tune blasting out of an amp that sounds great to me anyway i'm going to leave it here i hope you found this video educational let me know what you think and uh, let me know whether you'd be interested in other mod related videos in the future but until then goodbye